Hello, hey everybody, listeners. before we get started, I, this Dennis, is the Dennis, the world's, the world's most okay DM, and I just to wanted to take a second to tell you about my Kickstarter, which is live right now until the end podcast. of September. Now, you get all if you like werewolves or horror adventure, you definitely want to check this out. Early access this to is episodes, a 72-page, beautifully, beautifully illustrated graphic novel about the world's with each of us. first werewolf. It's the second book in the series, and it really delves into this month's really awesome Arabic folklore and mythology and nasty, gnarly monsters. Rob and also opens up the world to show. magic. It also touches Adventure on themes of PTSD and, and grief Rob from the play of what happened sort of in the first Gundam book. I am operating this entirely off of word of mouth. Sort of so affair. Please, please, so that's what please we did. Share it. Here's a little Check clip. it out. Go yes, to www.likensbook.com. That's L Y C A N Book.com. I would really appreciate Sweet. any and all support oh, you can give me. Uh, wow, Thank you so, so much in advance well, from the bottom. I really of believe my heart. that you're not going to kill me, so I figured, you know, why not help? He it. says it like that. I truly believe you. Stab it right in the throat. And he We're looks. Scavengers. He, lo he looks <laughs> surprised, shocked, and in hurt the all at the same wilds. time. But not like agree. Physical pain a hurt. Like emotionally uh, hurt. But also physical pain hurt. Well, he, he's he's too in shock to feel. And pain. dragons. Yeah, I feel Inspired like that, by uh, that's kind of par for the course for how this group morals. operates. But if questionable like understanding the of the rules. Of that episode, as well as the first episode, venture forth head on over to patreoncom slash podcast today and subscribe. For as your little as five dollars a month, and that'll get you access to the and bonus us episodes. Quest we have two as we every single month. There are thousands of hours of, of content at this point. But this anywho, head on over to patreoncom podcast and D &D check it out today. Back to podcast. The show. Hey everybody, this is Dennis, the world's most okay SDM, and I just wanted to thank Tony from Comics in Motion for the intro that he did for our show. Uh, I wanted to shout out uh, Tony and his show, Comics in Motion, because they were kind enough to review Lycan Solomon's Odyssey, my graphic novel series. Um, they even shouted out the Kickstarter that's going right now, so please, please, please show them some love. Check out their show. It's fantastic. You can find it on all your podcatchers. It's called Comics in Motion. Give them a five-star review. Tell them Dennis sent you. Thanks so much. On to the show. Previously on Botched. Uh... Milk titties. Welcome back, listeners, to the second episode of our uh, seventh season. I have a high energy here from the Botch Day. <laughs> We're <laughs> doing lots of lots of energy. We are going to start exactly where we left off last time, as the group has sort of, well, they've made a deal with the devil, so to speak, and uh, they are now back at the burnt, well, burning uh, wagon train that they were dragged away from. The sun is rising up over the uh, the faraway cliffs, and as it's you know it's rising up over the cliffs, it almost looks as though like the 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 sky itself is like opening its jaws. It's kind of uh, it's pretty and also horrifying all at the same time. A little uh, bit. Hey, uh, did we was... ride our horses out of the fire? Because our horses came out of the fire at some point. That would be cool. You have your horses, remember? They manifested they have glowing to us. eyes and all that. Jazz. Yeah, yeah. Did anybody bring any weenies? A hey, voice and head. Yes. Did we get a name for that devil? No. He didn't give you Okay, that. that's fair. But you do notice that uh, lying on the sand next to you is a, a tiny rolled up scroll, which is, um, you know, if you unfurl it, it's just a map of the area. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, no. Oh. oh, no. No, you go ahead. I mean, can we tail off this map where we is? Uh, so it, it looks as though that there is like a pulsating um, dot right towards the bottom right-hand side of the map. Yeah. So it's weird that it's pulsating, so it almost seems like it's telling you where you are at any given moment. All right. Oh, that's cool. Um, hey, hey, when when you guys bought y your tickets to the West, did did you know that it was to the, the most murderous man's territory ever, or did you think we were going to have nice new lives? I felt like we were paying the wagon train to keep us away from things like that. I think we should go and get our money back. Or maybe leave a bad review. 
first order of revenge, the travel agent. <laughs> he was a gnome, right? No, that was just the guy who was, it like, was telling everybody where to go. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, you're assigned to this wagon, and you're assigned to that wagon. So he's the first one we have to interrogate. Sure. We just have to go back <laughs> out. Maybe we were only going for like a day. It's not going to take that long. We've got horses. That's true. Yeah, you could ride back to the starting town. But then what if I am intrigued it? to see if the flames make them any faster myself. What if they see us come through the pass again? Is there anything different about the horses other than just being reanimated? They're I mean, not, like you said, their eyes glow a little bit different color. Yes. Yeah, so the Hell colors yeah. that you guys picked, uh, the eyes are glowing that way. Yeah. Um, you're currently standing still, so you don't notice anything else different about them. Now that uh, we still remember what town we were supposed to head to, yeah? No. So you didn't get any instructions as to where to head first. He told you that uh, Smile and Tom has a stranglehold on the territory and is way, 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 way too powerful. So if he were you, or he said if it, uh, if it was him... You should probably make a name for yourselves and then also try and take down his organization, you know, piece by piece. No voice in head. Because literally he can't die anyways because yeah. he has death riding with him. So. Yeah, Lady Death. Yeah. Voice in head. Now, looking at this map and remember where we were, mm -hmm. do I believe that this blinking dot is where we need to go or where we currently is? Where you currently are. Got it. And it's like just right after the pass, after... Uh... Critter D. A terry de depends a dirt. Cita de Partenza, yes. Yeah. So it's like right... In it, that... It's like right in the opening between uh, there and Tombstone. Yeah, that's why I figured we was. Yeah. Can I do a history check to see if we know that Tombstone or... Eastwood? Eastwood might be a less terrible place to go. Because, like, maybe Tom hangs out there a lot. I got a five. So... You don't know dick all about this area. Most here. people don't know anything about this area because very few ever come back out. The only thing that is known is that Unforgiven is typically where uh, Tom is located. Oh, that's not too far away. He could be anywhere. Even Unforgiven. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do the same history chip. Okay. I got a 13. Nothing different from what okay. I said. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it was a lot better. But yeah. Still not great. Still not great. <laughs> Wasn't that 15... <laughs> Two off. I'm proficient in history. So you, you do notice on the map that there are tiny little settlements. Um, Besame, roll a history check. I've been very good historically. Mm. I've lived through many years of history. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> uh, eight. <laughs> so... The only reason you know anything is because of your particular Schooling. race. Schooling! No, I would say race. Homeschooling. Um, you know that there are settlements of your people in these lands, oh. and they're probably smallish, so you're wondering maybe the little settlement marked on the map might be um, bovine-born oh, like in I, nature. Where I misspoke they? last time. I wasn't homeschooled. I was horn-schooled. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. glad you could fix that joke after two days. Yep. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. Good. It's good. No, it's good. What do you guys think sounds nicer, <clears throat> Eastwood or Tombstone? Well, I, I don't think we should go to neither. I think that we should go to one of these uh, settlements uh, and have Bess and May uh, kind of lead the group into town. See what we can uh, we can learn from there, since uh, we can't really go to either town because. Smiling Tom kind of has like could be, there. could be anywhere, but I doubt he'll be inside the uh, bovine-born village settlement. Settlement, yeah, settlement or settlement. Village is probably the bovine-born village settlement. Yeah, village settlement. Yeah, let, let's yeah. let's seek refuge. <laughs> I've got a structured settlement, and I need yeah. bovine now. Yeah. Our settlements are called pastures. Damn it. Sure. I mean, I didn't want to be presumptuous. You should know this. If you learn anything in school... You think Willie went to school? That's so cool. I know the word town. What's that? I mean, I don't... I know the word. I don't know what it yeah, means. you know of it. It exists. That's fine. I think sure. it's somewhere you go out. What about you, Heck? Where do you want to go? Heck? You want to go to Heck? I mean, 
I think I'm always in heck, technically speaking. Wait, are you a hamster? Let's go to the bovine pasture. Boys and My people I... will give us a warm welcome. Yes. Could I mean, just in case, I got a question. Mm-hmm. If something ever happens to heck, is there like a, a little like mini DV we could pop out that's got like their brain on it? And no, we, we I don't marble. Think that's really how Warforged works. I don't. Uh, that's why I'm asking. No, and they got like a thumb drive. No, an SSG. No. Okay. <laughs> SMG. Mm, maybe an SMG. No. Okay. No. Hand cranked M. Well, <laughs> SMG. Best it may lead lead the way. Not just because it rhymes though. So you guys are heading towards that southern, possibly bovine pasture. Best it may. Yeah. Best it may lead the way. Okay. So you, guys, so you guys start to ride. Oh, I was gonna. I should. I guess I should ask this. Did you want to do anything with the wagon train that's currently burning oh. or anything like that, or just leave it? Are, th- are there any like provisions or anything we could find that you might? Could, you could search water. I mean, we could like search. Most it. Of, all the wagons are either all the way burned or at least on fire and smoldering. So, and there are a bunch of like dead bodies. Also looks like there are pikes now that weren't there before with heads on them. So, oh. do you want like I, a survival? Did you want a perception? What would you like on this? This would be investigation. Investigation. I, I investigate oh, for two. God. Or survival, I suppose. No, investigation's great. I investigate for 22. I survive for three. Okay. Uh, so. 19. Okay. Dirty so. 20. Okay, so all of you did, what, best man, what was yours again? Wait, hold on. I might have something that gives me advantage in survival. Okay. Not for this. No. I got a two. Okay. Everyone in the group, except for Besame, uh, you find little pouches. Of, like, you, you find little things buried in the Like, just barely buried in the sand. They must have fallen off, got trampled on. So, uh, between the three of you, you find about 12 gold pieces. Each. Uh, no. No. Total. Damn it. Four. I found four yeah. gold. Yeah. You also find, again, in the sand, because you rolled so well, about seven rounds of revolver ammunition, five rounds of rifle ammunition, and then three rounds of shotgun ammunition. Oh, where are we keeping track of our ammo? You should. Is that everybody or just between everybody? Everybody. Okay. What about some rocks or sharp stones? Surely a two will get me that. <laughs> Uh, you find a smooth stone. Ugh. Well, maybe I can skip it. About the size my of enemies. a quarter. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe this... My, you you know, really people like really it. nice rocks, it's, it's literally so the first I might be able thing, to spin it. It's the first thing you find, and you fixate on it, and you just can't I'm, do anything else. I mean, so messy, messy man, yeah. you could maybe sharpen your horns with it, no? I know unicorns used is to it, use stones to sharpen their horns on. I thought that is was, it rough enough to sharpen my, sharpen my horns with? No. All right, let's uh, all spit on it. What about this wet yeah, stone? Yeah, spit on it and then spit on his <laughs> horns, maybe. It's possible. I'm going to spit all over your horns so I can sharpen them. I don't think we have time to do that. What if they come back? You also find, uh, so who, who rolled the highest? Was it 22 heck? was, was heck. heck. Heck, yeah. Heck, you find um, sort of clutched in the hand of a, a, a burnt individual a gold amulet with a green ruby in it. I take it. All right. And did I get anything cool with a 20? Uh, you find a, a dagger in the sand with a golden handle. Oh, gold dagger. What about me with a 19? You find a really nice sack. Like, okay. <laughs> like, it's got a nice, it's got a really nice pattern to it. It's, um, it's is it, pretty. like, saddle worthy or is it person worthy? Uh, it's definitely leather. But is it big enough where I could, like, hold it over the saddle to have, like, a saddle bag? No, it's like okay. a basketball got it. size. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Sack of holding. Yep. You got a sack of holding, boy. Woo! So, yeah. So, those are all the items you find with your with your search. Anything else you're doing with this wagon train or leaving it as as he is? You also notice that uh, Smile and Thomas put up a, quite a few signs that say, uh, Smile and Tom's territory, beware, keep out, things like that. Oh. He could have put those up before. Eh. I'm going to knock them all down. Okay. Oh. Sorry. I'm going to kick them. Kick them down. Okay. You kick them. You kick them down. Does it take a whole, I mean, they're about a foot in the, to the, the sand, but, you know, with enough gumption, you, you manage to knock them all down. I'm mostly gums. Sure. 
with Lily, how much I understand you? your anger, but I think that it might be more beneficial to others coming this way if we left those up. Maybe that's how we got. Oh, you in the think first that's place. how we got in trouble in first place? People like you. It's <laughs> entirely possible. I mean, you're from the future, ain't you? Yeah, but I can only you, have can a you singular use, purpose. Can you? you oh, just okay. heck, roll a roll a perception check. Is a fourteen. You notice there's like a small outline in the sand, and you you brush it up, and there's another sign that says "Beware, keep out," and it looks like it has boot <laughs> scuff marks on it. <laughs> see, Willie. Very close Willie, to do the you one see? that was kicked down. I put the sign back up. <laughs> I, I use my war pick to give it a little tink tank sure. tink tank tink tink tink. Got it. Okay, I, you know what? I, I sometimes no Willie don't think with his brain because the spiders and whatnot. Sure, spider spiders brain. get sleepy. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes Willie just kind of glazes over and the spiders take over. No, I don't think good. Is that why you're drinking blood? No, that's because I gotta re- replenish the blood inside of me. Oh. If I drink new blood, it flushes out all the bad blood. Sure. I'm riding away. Okay. I'm going to get on Ronnie okay. and start riding towards that settlement. All right. That so pasture. Let's see. Go, Hopper, dude. <laughs> Steve's was white with black spots. My favorite color. The heck was green. And what was Ned's again? I was going to ask you. Uh, yellow, right? Because it was the bat yellow? symbol? I, I thought you went with black. Black. For the eyes, right? It's yeah, the color yeah you did yellow. It's the color of vengeance. Sure. Okay. All right. And so, Willie did hazel. Yeah, no, I I ain't got what you got. <laughs> it was dirt brown or whatever it was, sandy brown. Um, so as you start to ride your horses, you just happen to notice that as the hooves hit the sand, there's also a different uh, effect between each of your horses. So. For Willie, since he picked Sandy Brown, it just splashes a lot of sand around when he's running. That's what Ronnie lives. Sure. Um, Bessame, when you're running, the sand it turns almost into a milky substance that <laughs> splashes, but like turns back into sand as soon as it hits the ground. What's so that it, sand? Mm, like, so it doesn't make a sploosh sound? It does sand? make Kinetic a sand subtle that, like, If you sound. punch it, it... it, it it doesn't yeah. do anything, yeah. but if you, yeah. So it's kind of like that when you're running. Uh, heck, you have this green flames running off of the hooves as you are uh, running on the the sand, uh, but it's not leaving any marks in the sand. So you're just you're just riding through it. And then Ned, uh, yours Opera has just pissing the entire time he runs. And <laughs> I was gonna go with crackling yellow, uh, like lightning like shooting off better. the hooves. Yeah. Like, kind of like just piles of piss. <laughs> sure, it's just spraying piss everywhere. Why not? It's just like <laughs> bouncing. It has like a such dog. <laughs> it's like a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two man with piss. <laughs> your your horse's cock is faced backwards, <laughs> and you there's a there's like a an oil slick button, yeah. but it's for piss. Drop. I ride in front of Ned. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take, I believe I'll take, we all do. I, I don't speak for me. Mr. Deal with the Devil, oh. I'll take the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sure. Devil, sir? Yeah, is it red piss or white piss? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so you guys ride south. And it's a blush. It is, you, you're very close, like on your left hand side is that mountain range that is incredibly intimidating in terms of like you can understand why it's very hard to get into this territory because it's they just seem uh insurmountable unless there's already a path built into it like there is with we already mounted them i like what did i literally just say i said unless there's a path like the one you just are we not talking about the horses i thought they were already our mounts it's the past that we went in, sir. So we insert mount. They're no longer in. Oh, God damn it. Fuck that that one way is going on. Whatever. <laughs> so, so you're heading south. Now, Be- Besame. Um, That's me. You would know better how best to approach. How best? How best, how best, to, best to approach? How best uh, to approach a, a, a pasture that you are possible. Well, I would say you're probably unfamiliar with since, you know, it's a tribe. Inside a herd, west. sir. A herd, a herd inside. You heard. West. So I tell them the best way. Which is what? Which is you gotta you gotta kind of go sideways. You gotta you gotta kind of like uh, uh, crab switch walk. Switch back it. You gotta switch back it. Your horses have to crab walk in. Yeah, Should like we... uh, like the uh, like that 
fearsome critter that's got two legs shorter than the others. So they just go in a corkscrew pattern up a mountain. I heard and when they should... get to the top, they die because they can't turn around. Oh my! What? Yeah, it doesn't fearsome... sound efficient. It's a real fearsome critter. It's a fearsome critter. Uh, they live in the mountains, y'all. You don't know about fearsome critters? It's oh. l it's American lumberjack uh, Fol cryptids. folklore. Yeah, yeah, folklore. Yeah. No, no, I I down with that, Bessie. Okay. Uh, so animal handling. Uh, sure, animal handling to try and get your, uh, you know, mounts to do whatever that weird thing is. I botched. Is. 15. Mm. Are we sure that mine would be animal handling? Uh, yeah, for all intents and purposes. It'll be okay, animal. good. It's an 18. Acrobatics? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's balance! You said it was balance, it's, Dennis! It's animal handling you're getting your animal to do things i know that you love acrobatics Keep and want everything rules to, it's not it's literally not it doesn't say anywhere in the book about making your animal do acrobatics if you want your 11. animal to do a thing it's animal handling it's just how it works. Oh, steve you should have retconned it to us doing a circle dance on top of our bounce while That's, we uh, ride forward that fearsome critter is called the side hill gouger which is the coolest fearsome critter name they all the rest of them sound like humpy dump and shit <laughs> All oh, right, Hopper. Do uh, what? What did Willie and uh, Bessemer get? Fifteen. You said eleven, Bessemer, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, Ned and Hex uh, mounts really are not very good at the sideways shuffle. Uh, they're, you know, Hex horse is just not really programmed. Like the joints are. I thought you said you got. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you you got like super Ned, low. Ned botched. Ned, Ned yeah, got Ned, I know Ned botched. Okay, so Ned's the only one whose horse <laughs> just can't see. Come on, come on, Hopper, do cha cha real smooth. It doesn't. It, <laughs> it's, come on. It's, it tries to grapevine, and it's just getting all tangled up in its oh, own legs. Man. So uh, your yellow lightning is uh, not nearly as it, impressive. Um, well, well, since that doesn't work, I'm just gonna try to do acrobatic stuff on the saddle to make it look cool. Okay. Because my horse sucks. I hope you botch again. That's a 19 on a die, and my acrobatic score is plus 5. 24. Yeah, you're doing, like, really cool flip-a-dips and whatnot on mm -hmm. your saddle as your horse spazzes out across the sand. <laughs> it's so part of the You're doing show. it good, hopper do, hopper cool, don't. Fearsome critter. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> I'm, I'm, do I'm doing the Flintstone flop on top of the horse. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> uh, Bubble babies. You notice as you get closer and closer to the pasture that uh, there are a, a group of bovine board um, riding out to meet you. And then they get off of their mounts and like leave their mounts behind. They all have like uh, these very impressive spears. Look like they're made out of various animal bones. Um, and they're all just standing. There. Now the, the main bovine born is um, just standing there in the middle while the other ones have their spears at the ready because they don't know what's you know what to expect from your group i don't know what to expect from this group yeah i give them the customine custom customine custom bovine born greeting been riding to meet you <laughs> boom 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 Move. Move. <laughs> must have been a devil that sent us yeah, we just made a deal. With but not the for devil whores. who's a man. <laughs> so so they, they the It's the, that whole thing. That's the custom it's sure. it's really weird that it just works out for us. Okay. So the leader sort of like hesitant like raises an eyebrow and just raises a hand towards the other ones to like all right, maybe like just calm down a bit because they, they seem like they're harmless. But hey And uh so they're all just standing there waiting. Have you? And the, the leader looks at Best Man and just goes, Moo? <laughs> like, no. question mark, Moo? Moo? I also speak bovine. So is this under common or what? Uh, uh, it's utter common. It's utter common. Utter common. <laughs> utter common. Utter common. <laughs> yeah. Tip of the hat. Tip of the hat. So to, nice. as far as you guys are concerned, it's just Moo. Yeah, Ooh. but I speak utter common, Ooh. and I uh, I understand Ooh. the nuance in the different moos. Yeah. Moo, moo, moo. The moo, in moo. inflection moo, moo. is very important. Moo, moo. Exactly. Um, the the he, the leader now starts speaking in regular common towards the other three, and he says, uh, "You know, Bessemer here, 
and I have just spoken, and you have asked for, you know, to come into our village and sort of get your bearings. We, too, are not big fans of Smiling Tom, but you must prove yourselves to be kindred spirits with the Bovenborn. So there is the the normal test that outsiders must take I in love order peyote. to... Let's go! Uh, it's not. You have to hey. eat this uh, this thing of cud. Cud's my second favorite it's thing to eat. Just a big old wet mess of cud. And he, oh, oh, man. He pops it in their mouth. I'm at least three stomachs full, bud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, take cud, I'll take a cud to the mouth. Sure. What do you want from me? Uh, constitution check. 17 on the die plus 3 equals 20. All right, you do. You chew it up. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing Willie can't consume. And, and you're getting the impression that just by the look that the that the leader's giving you that you're supposed to swallow. Oh, I swallow. Okay, you do. <clears throat> like it's nothing. Ned, how about you? Um, okay. Uh, it's still a little warm, too. Oh, so, like, this thank, was thank God. fresh. It's fresh cud. You know, after, I hope this is a practical joke. <laughs> They're just seeing how dumb we is. After coming back from the dead, this isn't so bad. I got a 15. Yeah, you're you're also pretty okay with it, though you're a oh, little it's less so than, than Willie as you can look on down. Yeah. Heck doesn't even care. Uh, as you, it's like cold grits. Yeah. So, because it, it's cud, that means they've chewed it already, and he's, he's yes. baby birding it to us, or well, it's a it's a pile on his hand. You're just pulling okay. off a piece okay. of it. Okay. He goes, "Wow, I didn't actually think you'd fall for that." Jesus. Stop okay. Damn bogarting it. all the wow. cud. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. It's. I mean, best of me, you're you were, you were right. Your friends are really that stupid. Okay, great. I like socially uh, uh, or locally grown, uh, locally chewed cud. Hey, whatever. You know, if you want us to spit things into your mouth, that can be you know an offer. I, I mean, I, I easily we, we can talk about it. I ain't against it. Do you have extra cud for my chickens? Chickens like cud. And it, it sort of like cocks its head sideways at your bird since it has like glowing. Uh, you know what? Dirt Hold on. Eyes. I'm going to regurgitate <laughs> some of my cud and then feed it to chickums. Regurgitate it. Re that is how birds feed. Yeah, that's how he likes Sure. It. Uh, roll con to make sure that you throw up properly. Uh, that is a 19. Yeah. You have done this many times. You just... And I feed it to uh, uh, old chickums with a 20. Yeah, chickums just... Just gobbles the it right up. The power of crud compels you. Mama. Sure, and uh, the 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 leader's just like okay, uh, best of my, you ride with uh, some very strange individuals. We're fearless, but uh, yeah. yeah, no, I get that. Um, but you are welcome in our pasture. You know, as long as you're here, uh, you know, our pasture is your pasture. You know, <laughs> let's take it. <laughs> what What did he tell me his name was during our customary greeting? Oh, it's a uh, it's Longhorn Stackhouse. That's uh, that's like that's like being named Longhorn. Muhammad. Uh, it's very common. But it, Chief Longhorn Stackhouse. Yeah, Chief Longhorn Stackhouse. Stackhouse. Any relation to? <laughs> okay. Let's follow him to their place. Sure. So uh, he, he leads you in, and the the customary home of a bovine born looks pretty much like a small stable, like. Just kind of looks like a stable, a little bit. So, um, yeah. So he brings you in, and he he shows you around. There's lots of, uh, I would say this this pasture has at least fifty or so bovine born. Um, quite a few uh, on the young, like uh, you know, calves, I would say. And uh, he leads you off to one of the the stables that is currently unoccupied, and says, "Here, you, you know, this is where you can stay for the night if you need." Um, if there's anything we can do in your, you know, to help you in your quest, uh, let us know. We'd be more than happy to help as far as we can without bringing too much attention to ourselves. Because you know, Smiling Tom will murder all of us. So, um, is there somewhere you think that we might start if we wanted to try to start uh, dismantling his crime empire? He's like, well, do you have a map? Yeah, and I show yeah. him. I, I, I open the the scroll now, real quick, voice and hand. Sure. Uh, is, is that blinking dot down in the pasture where we is now? Yes, it is. All right. So I show it old to Longhorn Steak Mouse. So he. That's a better name. Sniffs the map and then gives it a quick. He's like, oh, it's a magic, it's a magical map. Okay, nice. I got it from the devil. Wait, you can taste <laughs> oh, magic. Okay, you got it from the devil. 
Fair enough. Sh- sure. He was in a white suit, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got it from the White Devil. The white All suit. All right. Yeah. Why not? Uh, so he he looks at the map and he goes, "Okay, well, it's already got a layout of the railroad that goes around the the area. The the major towns are already marked out." Um, it even has a demarcation for the towns that have mines. So most of the the resources, like the, the area is very resource rich. Um, Smiling Tom gets a lot of his, well, all, almost all of his money from those resources. So any of those mining towns are good places to start. Um, and then because he transports all of it via the railroad. So, you know, shutting down the mines, uh, dealing with the railroad itself. You're going to have to deal with death somehow. Um, no idea how you're going to do that. I know how I'm going to get... I, I got it. I got a plan. Sure. Um, and then, you know, each of those towns is also headed by, um, you know... A guy? S- like a syndicate or like a, you know, a smaller group that's... A D20 syndicate running town. D20 syndicate, yeah. Hmm. No, okay. like, a, a you know, the henchmen... But like the higher-up henchmen of Smile and Tom. So, you know, if you, if you slowly take away all of his power like you know take over the towns and all that jazz you'll have more allies uh, to back you and whatnot and you're you know you'll probably gain some names for yourselves that way I would definitely say well, but, let me, let me, but also you should be aware that the more you mess up stuff the more Smiling Tom's gonna know about it so you're so. saying we have to cut away all the choice cuts yes of his organization first yes and trim, then trim the fat we can get yeah trim the fat to his heart Sure, no, but no, also I, Dev. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's all I have. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to, I'm sorry. I didn't want to step over you. So are you saying uh, we'd probably be better off starting outside the desert and working our way around and then Ian? You know, so it, it, he says, and he, he's, he's stroking the, the hair on his chinny chin chin. He goes, um, you know, it, it, you might want to start off in very small towns just dealing with like right at first, just to to really start to make a name for yourself. Oh, because um, you know if you try and just walk into one of these towns that's run by a a boss, it might be a little difficult. I hear you. So, so so we should go to like the towns on the outskirts in a circular pattern, right? We sure. should rock the organization that is Smiling Tom's baby like a wagon wheel. Exactly. Um, and do you, so, like, I have a question about you guys. Sure. Um, do you usually stay, like, right here, and then he just doesn't bother you, or do you have to, like, hi? He doesn't, so we stay in an area that is resource poor for that oh, very reason. Okay. He doesn't have any reason to come over here, and as long as we stay out of his business, he seems to stay out of ours. So you're not, like, some imaginary nomads that just run through the desert? We will relocate if we have to. I got you. We just really don't want to. Like if someone um, ratted you out or something. This pasture has been here for about 50 years. Oh, that's really good. That's a so, good amount of time. We just in here. case, Ned, you should show them how to cower as good as you do. <laughs> that's Look at the shakes. That's a powerful cower. Look at that shake. Hey. That's a powerful he, cower. He can do it so well, he goes almost invisible. The cower was inside you all along. <laughs> the cape and cower. <laughs> yeah. So, the, he also said, so, you know, Smile and Tom appeared not long after they were pushed into this territory, so, uh, and then settled down. So, you know, Smile and Tom's been around for quite a little while now, about 49-ish years, he would say. Um does he employ any kind of uh, magical users or mystics that we might be able to? Oh, so Smile and Tom has uh, he he likes to Fuck. be ready for any particular thing that might happen. He's very well prepared, so mm. he always carries on him uh, an artifact that basically creates a, a negative magic zone around him. So any users who try and cast spells. It just drains them of all their energy. Right, right. But, uh. like, is there, like, he doesn't employ any magic users? Not 
I mean, there I'm, there are people in his employ that do use magic. It's not super common, but there are okay. some. Does he still have the needs of mortal men? He doesn't have a grand wizard, if that's what you're asking. Oh, no, no. nobody asks that. Or oh, you know, just more like a like a someone who normal wizard. He doesn't have one of those. Uh, maybe like just, some you know. in a mer- either in intermediary where he communicates with death in some way, or maybe there's a library. Is he married to no, Lady Death? Literally, Death rides with him. He j- he can just talk. Oh, is to that her. the guy on the pale horse? Yeah, probably. Uh, stale horse. I saw him. No, the horse is pale. The rider is dark. Yeah. That's a good contrast. That's that's opposite on the color wheel. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one of those complimentary colors. Mm-hmm. Well. Yeah. Now. Now. Technically, neither are colors, but uh, sure. Yeah, that's, yeah. Thank you, Heck. Oh, hues. A complimentary hues. Also false. Mm-hmm. They're tins. Mocha lattes. That's coffee. Heck, shit. Just let him run with it. He, he whispers to you. Just let They're stupid. Now, let's say in like, let's say in a couple years, when uh, this uh, Roman tr- uh, gang that we got. We don't have years. We don't have a name yet either. But if we come back with uh, immense power, can we count on you to uh, help us take down the smiling, smiling man, smiling town? I mean, if if you know if you've made enough of your name a name for yourself, and we think that you actually have a shot at it, yeah, we will we will help you. But I mean, if you don't, then we're not gonna. I don't blame you. You've been good for about fifty years. Why would you put your yeah. nose in if we, it wasn't a hundred percent guarantee? Exactly. Smiling Tom's been doing this for like forty nine years. So he's old. And he's been he's been running strong. So, uh, he looks just fine. That's because uh, evil never ages. Sure. I mean, look at Paul Rudd. Mm. <laughs> That's fair. So, Longhorn, what happened to all your bulls and cows? All I see is like heifers and bull calves around here. Um, well, to be honest, uh, a lot of times when our cows come of age, they want to explore the region and then they don't come back. Um, you know, our tribe in particular does, has always had sort of a uh, exploratory nature, so when they come of age, they always set out on an adventure. Uh, only very few of them ever come back. For oh, you're don't... like that. Uh, you're like that uh, clan uh, up in the northeast, the Amush. Yes, exactly. <laughs> cousins. We're actually cousins with the Amush. I oh, it's... you're the Moonanites. The Moonanites. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it, <laughs> it's a fabulous night for a, a moo dance. So. If you guys Stop wanna... just putting moo in things, Ned. You sound ridiculous. Yeah. Why are you making up stuff? Now? I thought we were gonna have a party. <laughs> I mean, we can have a party. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if it's really time to party. We just came back from the dead with a deal from the White Devil. I think any kind of party might, uh, you know, kind of. When's the last time you guys had a party down here? Oh, we haven't uh, celebrated in at least forty-nine years. I was gonna say five days. Uh, Five weeks or so. Okay, okay, I mean, then I guess they're due. Uh, and wait, and you, you could taste magic before. Can can you can you taste my dagger? Uh, I I don't feel like I know you that well, buddy. To be tasting no, no this this one. <laughs> Lick his knife. <laughs> it's, got oh, a, no. it's got a gold handle. Mm, he which doesn't seem very practical. Persuasion. Put his property in he, your mouth. He puts his hand out. He's like, I mean, if you just give it to me, not like I don't want you holding it and no, then me put my tongue. Oh no, yeah, hilt like first to you, Ben. And it, he, he sniffs at it. He's like, hmm. And then licks a little bit around the handle. He's like, well, I mean, it doesn't taste I'm magical. Do it slower. Maybe. May, a little okay. Slower. Yeah. Make that eye contact that oh, Ned no. needs. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I'll look away. Lick it's away. It's illegal, so I can't stop you. Uh, no, I don't believe it's magical. I think it's just gold. So, All I mean, right. It's worth a decent penny, probably. Thank you for giving it back to me. Sure. If you'd be willing to give one more go, and Heck holds up the amulet. <sighs> All right. And then, like, uh, he pulls out, like, a piece of cloth and then taps his tongue on that. I have to cleanse my palate. A magical palate. <laughs> and then um, starts to lick around the edge. Again, keeping constant eye contact, but slow lick. Just, Just with <laughs> Ned, though? <laughs> <laughs> Just with Ned. <laughs> This came from the Napa region. It does have a bit of a magical tinge, tinge to it. Ooh. And then licks the ruby a little bit. Just... 
Again, more eye contact with Ned. Oh. Yeah, it's got a little bit of magic to it, I would say. Thank you. That's good. Hey, Longhorn. Yes. Why don't you lick my sack real quick? Tell me if this sack is magical. That'd be nice to our guests. He just sniffs it. It goes. It's just leather. All right. What about this small rock I found? That's a rock. Yeah, I know, but is it magic? Put it need, in your mouth. I don't even need to touch it to know it's not. It's just a rock. I'm one of your people. And you're going to do me like this? You're going to moo me like this? I thought you said not to just Give me put rock. moo places. Give I'm trying to speak my language, Ned. Shut up. <laughs> Give me a rock. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Puts it in his mouth, swishes it around for a bit, <laughs> spits it back at you, it hits you in the chest and bounces off. He goes, it's not magic. It's a rock. Does he take damage from that hitting him? No, it doesn't. Damn. Haha, -ha, but now it's non-magical and wet. Yes, it is non-magical and wet. And as you just had a rock spin in your chest, that is where we're going to take a break. Hello, listeners. It is I, Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here to talk to you about patreon.com slash botched podcast. Now, you get all kinds of rewards from discord access to early access to the episodes to the monthly bonus episodes to playing a bi-weekly game with each of us but really the burning question on everybody's minds is what are this month's bonus episodes about well let me tell you what we had a special guest this month rob from our sister show adventure incorporated and you know, Rob wanted to play a sort of Gundam-esque, mechanized unit sort of affair. So that's what we did. Here's a little clip. Do you have some sort of key code card? And he sort of kind of like reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a red nice. card. He's like, this will probably open it. Sweet. Oh, great. Uh, wow, you've been very helpful. Thank you. Well, I'm, I really believe that you're not going to kill me, so I figured, you know... Why not help? Stab he it. says it like that. I truly believe you. <laughs> Stab him right in the throat. <laughs> and he We're looks scavengers. He, lo he looks surprised, <laughs> shocked, and hurt all at the same time. But not like physical pain hurt, like emotionally uh -huh. hurt. But also you, physical pain hurt. Well, yeah. he's he's too in shock to feel the pain of that. Yeah, I feel like that uh, that's kind of par for the course for how this group operates. But if you'd like to hear the rest of that episode, as well as the first episode, head on over to patreon.com slash botched podcast today and subscribe for as little as $5 a month. That'll get you access to the bonus episodes. We have two every single month. There are thousands of hours of content at this point. But anywho, head on over to patreon.com slash botched podcast and check it out today. Back to the show. And we're back. All right. So, uh, chieftain, sorry, yes. I, not chief king. Are you like head head chief, cowman? Chief king. I mean, I'm I am the leader of this pasture. Yeah, I didn't want to put titles on you because I just assumed. So you I gave realized. him two titles. Yeah, you gave me more titles. Um, I didn't want to put any labels on you. So, so here's I, double labels. I gave label. you more. Yeah, okay. Do, do you guys have like a a problem that we could help you solve that maybe we could exchange for supplies. I mean, we have been having an issue with the coyotes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, I mean, they have been coming into the pasture and stealing children, uh, and we can't seem to find them. We've tried numerous times. Normally, we're very good at uh, tracking them down, but uh, every time we get there, we just miss them. So. A coyote ain't my baby. <laughs> Voice in here? Yes. Isn't there a cave uh, south from here? Uh, I mean, there may be numerous caves. Or like a mine of some sort? Uh, no, not, not there. I don't think that would... This sounds like a fantastic entry-level quest. Yeah, let's go into the mountains and kill some coyotes till the sun rises, gain five levels. It's like the western version of <laughs> killing rats in the basement. Yeah. Sure. I play Warcraft. Yeah. Sure. Uh, is there like a time of they strike it at, at, at night? Or uh, a turtle, well, Ned. I, he says they typically come out at night, uh, but that is also when they're the most dangerous because typically, mm. I mean, can you see in the dark? Yes. Yes. I can smell in the dark. They generally arrive after sundown. Yeah. Generally. Generally. But, like, they're much more dangerous at night if you can't see them. Wait, Warforged can see at night? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? They're yeah, yeah. Heck, heck has night vision. They don't have yeah. pupils. Mm. She's a night vision unit. She's a scout. They are a night vision right? unit. Excuse me. No, it doesn't. She learned that. Uh, they we learned that in Nam. Wait, this. 
Wait, where, when did we establish this? During the backstory. We established this. Yeah. You, you did established. not establish it, but we did. <laughs> okay, what a, do you have, like, a youngling that is not very promising? Maybe a rival? You want to, You want me to give you bait? <laughs> I'm fairly certain name? we can find a small rodent. And we can tie it to a stick. We can find a jackrabbit. Like a rabbit. Correct, yeah. yes. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go hunt a rabbit, yeah, you go. I don't have a pet rabbit for you to sacrifice to coyotes or anything like that. I mean, okay, but voice it, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I do want to move on from this but real quick. Sure. I just want to make sure that the modular nature of, of Warforge means, heck, that they can get like an upgrade later on for night sure. vision. If she wants to later, or sorry, if they would come across an upgrade later that would allow them to have dark vision, that's fine. But like dark, fantastic. Dark mode. do not have one right <laughs> dark now. Dark mode setting. Yeah. Okay. You know what? They probably outfitted each of the Warforged with the, the dark vision stuff back then and then took them back at the end because to save money. Right. Yeah. I also mm. can't see at night and I get very easy to tip. Sure. <laughs> so <laughs> Willie's the only uh, one that can see on, in the hold dark. Hold on, hold on. So they set <laughs> head back visions. to fac factory default? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they totally. took all the attachments. That Heck had like Heck had like magic gun arms and like a turret on the shoulder and all this stuff. Like and metal they armor. Had a oh yeah, like super <laughs> thick metal armor and like tank treads. Like Heck was was I all decked out. I have legs, not wheels or treads. Well, now you do. Thank you. Yeah, they gave you back your base model, which was two legs. That's typical for the Robo VA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the the leader. Uh, Longhorn Stackhouse. It's just like I mean, it's it's going to be difficult to find them during the day because they hide. But it's also going to be difficult to hunt them at night because they can see you and you can't necessarily see them. Okay, well maybe at dusk because as a, as a skulker, I don't have disadvantage on perception checks in dim light. Okay, so we'll try to get him sometime during the magic hour. Sure, before the sun goes all the way now, down. Now look, y'all, I, I got I got chickums. Like we can Ooh, use chickums as bait. We can. I. I. I'm. I'm pretty. Pretty convinced that we. We going We gonna kill these coyotes real good, and chickums won't be in danger. We just like run chickums off, in going into the desert, and then we'll chase them down. Or we yeah. could build some sort of cage around chickums so they couldn't get to them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or like a big. Uh, we could put chickums in a, like a big uh, hamster ball. Why don't we just put chickums in a tree <laughs> and wait for the oh, coyotes to come to the base of the tree? That's a good idea. Well, coyotes can't climb. <laughs> and then we'll, chickums a bird. They hate trees. They hate trees. <laughs> and then we'll hide uh, upwind from that location. I mean, it's fine. Whatever it is you do, just do it away from the village. We're going to do that like, right outside the village. Pasture. No, not right outside. I mean, away. You got, to got to kill the bait here, away. lead a blood trail to <laughs> no, where we want to go it. away when you do anything. And, and go you, away. Is there like a general direction they come from? Uh, typically the, the southeast from here. So let's set up there. Is Man. where we see some of the tracks before they just disappear. Oh. Let's like they get lighter and lighter over time and they're just gone. I mean, go. there's a lot of winds in the mountains and so like the... Yeah, so probably just cover themselves. Helium coyotes. Helium coyotes. Yeah, when the sun rises, they so do they. Away. Just float away back into the mountains. Kai floaties. Kai floaties. Kai floaties. <laughs> or fly oh, so flyotes. 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 That's what they wear in the pool. Goddamn flyotes. <laughs> sure. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, let's flyotes. So we should do like a <laughs> survival check and snatch things, and then keep floating. Yeah, no, we could do some survival checks. So like craft a chicken coop, chicken cage, <laughs> chicken coop, and then a uh, survival or something or stealth to hide away from these coyotes. Sure. Yeah, let me, let me make old chickens like a little house in, sure. in, inside. The, it's like a good tree. High so, enough where the coyotes can smell it. Okay, so you, you go into the mountains a little bit, yeah. um, into the rougher terrain, and there is you do you do manage to spot a dead tree uh, that is you know pretty. It's got a pretty decent amount of open space around it, um, where you could probably stick chickens. All right, can I like craft a little like? If you want to craft a cage for chickens, yeah. that's going to take you a survival. I'll assist. Does that mean I get advantage? Yes, it does. It does. So, so the first one was an 11. 
All right, I'll take your assist with a 17. You make a pretty sturdy wooden cage. Now, how's it look to you, um, chicken? Is it like circular? Oh, I know. You know, I spoil you now, chickens. Here, I, I got some of this ham chocolate. The, the ham chocolate you love so much? I, I think you deserve chickens, this. Chickens, this is the first time you've been alive in about at least a year and a half. I would say a little bit more than that, but that's fine. Probably. Yeah, this he's, is not my first chicken. Yeah, he's been keeping your corpse around for quite a while. He killed you a long time ago. I didn't kill him. Sure. I didn't kill him. Chickens need oxygen. Did he take the tape off his neck? <laughs> yeah. No, that's what's holding the, the spine straight. holding straight. the head on. Yeah, no, no. We Pretty need, bird. We need, it's got a big it's bow orthopedic. around its neck. Yeah. yeah. It's orthopedic tape. Yeah, no, the, the, the it was the poisonous gases down in the mine that keeps mm-hmm. killing chickens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, But you got to keep that ribbon around their neck, and their head going to fall off, and spiders going to come everywhere. So, so do you want to set the cage with chickens in the tree or have it hanging from a branch? How do you want to do this? I want it high enough where chickens is still either visible or like the scent will still come out without having chickens in too much danger. And we could and we could like periodically throw small pebbles at them to make it make noise. Oh no, chickens is <laughs> apparently sentient. <laughs> yep. What we really could use is some uh, some urine from a female coyote in heat. Well, you don't have we that. Don't have, yeah, not yet. High low. You haven't we'll juiced a coyote yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I'm gonna juice one if we if they come, if this works. You're, you have not come across a coyote. I'm gonna give me some coyote juice on the mountainside. So no. And Ned Ned's gonna use a survival check to try to find a place upwind from here so they can't smell us. Sure. With a 19. Pigs and taters. Uh, yeah. So I I would say Ned, you find a pretty decent hiding spot where you can see. Uh, a lot of the the traffic, the foot traffic that might come into the area around mm-hmm. Chickums, and then you can easily see Chickums as well. Hey guys, hide here. Is there going to be enough cover in that tree for me to hide up in it so I can no. ambush with it's like dead. a dead? It's like a, a dead a, tree. I mean, okay. What if we build him like a like he was a hanged man, but it had like a thing for his feet I don't, to no, hang No, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that high level. Just on make that. it look like you're hanging out of the tree. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you messed up your survival check. I'll, I, I'll roll it for <laughs> you. <laughs> says that. Which I have proficiency in. Uh huh. Uh. So yeah. So you can you can just wait here. Yeah. Let's let's wait it out. Yeah. All right. Let, let's do that and, then. Stealthily. Hi, this hide check is like stealth, right? Yes. And and since we're proficient in it and we have a lot of time, we can get advantage. Sure. I mean, you can just take your time to stealth and be yeah, let's do that. Sneaky. It's a twenty. <clears throat> so the magic hour comes and goes. It is now pitch black. Fuck you. Still no coyotes. You wait another couple Even hours. Even though chickens making noise. Chickens making noise. Chicken dance the whole time. Yep. But no coyotes just yet. But the village is getting ransacked. <laughs> the village we can hear the children being destroyed. <laughs> Moo! Moo! Listen, you're, we're so close to the ocean, you can hear the whales singing. Mm-hmm. So, you you wait there for another couple hours, and you're wondering if they're ever going to come, and you start to hear this ever so quiet skittering noise coming from uh, different directions, all moving towards chickens. Can I look through my scope? And see what I see? Sure. You see, so it looks like there are numerous of whatever this is. Um, you know, they say it's coyotes, but it definitely has a furry back. Um, sort of looks like a bit of a hunched back with a long tail. And it's it's more like, um, it, it more runs like a bear than it does a coyote. And they're kind of fat and round. And they're just sort of... <laughs> Through the area, so they don't look like any coyotes you've ever seen. Uh, these before. are El Chuba Capras. How many of them? How many do I see? Uh, you see about ten of them. Oh, Jesus! That's a lot. They're about the size of mm, like a beach ball. Oh. Oh, so they are full of helium. I mean, I said they're the size of a beach ball. Let me see mouth. if I can pop one real quick. Sure. With uh, with my my long rifle. Gonna oh, put a if thing. He's gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, but I can see him. Uh, boys in the head. Do I think I have enough cover where I can take a pop, like pop a shot, and then uh, 
hide so they don't see where the the muzzle flash come from since they're not expecting it? Uh, uh that's maybe. A, that's a feature of my class, so I don't think you can. Yeah, it's a, it's gonna be tough. But if you gave me the gun and sighted for you them, don't. <laughs> and if I miss, they can't see. I mean, I I did just Which have is, a really good roll. Okay, never mind. Uh, will a nineteen hit one of these beach balls? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's ten damage. So you fire off a shot, and you notice when it hits, the the coyote, as they call it, makes out this noise. It just sounds like a, and it just flies away. Just I knew it. I told you um, that they were coyotes. When, when he fires, then the muzzle flash. Are the other ones illuminated for a half second, so I, we can also fire? No. Not, not even a high low. I rolled very low for it, so no. Okay. Um, it's very quick, and none of you re- are ready to an action. Anyway, I said so. I did. You did? I was like, as soon as he shoots, I'm shooting. Okay, fine. I'll let you. Okay. <laughs> I got a 19 on the die. Let's go ahead. Awesome. What kind of gun are you using? I just have a pistol. So that's a D8. Still not a D6, you say. I got an 8. <laughs> Uh, yeah, S- uh, similar thing. This one hits the the creature in the back, uh, like the hind quarters, and it shoots forward and just <laughs> shoots off. You notice as each of these like takes off, that it leaves behind this like yellowish greenish gas <gasps> that just starts to fill the entire area. Chickums. So uh, it's it's moving close to Chickums. Since you, the the two that you shot are over in the same area, oh, it's just no. move. It's like a big cloud. Now you can't even see the coyotes that were over in that area uh, as the gas cloud just moves closer and closer to Chickums. Uh, give me an initiative. Hey, it's a critical twenty. Not cr- non critical twenty. <laughs> you all right now, Bouncy Bessy May? Seven, Probably five, not. This voice is killing me. I got a twelve. Okay. Then first up will be Willie. How far away on uh, a uh, distance is this? Uh, They're about fifty feet. Fifty feet. Yeah. Hunt jam. <laughs> So you you can see I, yeah, that there are like see. four different trails of uh, the coyotes coming in. So two of them are blocked up with that cloud of like yellowish greenish. Yeah, the piss gas. cloud. Yeah, but the other two you can see on your right hand side also moving into. Well, they are now skittish, looking around, trying to figure out exactly where the <laughs> shot came from. Now, voice and head. Since I've seen two piss clouds now emanate out of some. Helium monsters. Uh-huh. Do I think if I hit one of the ones on the right side, that piss cloud is then going to continue uh, moving towards chickens, or do you think this is my best option to save my burbs? Intelligence. Oh boy, I got a zero. So it was a critical one. Uh, you know, you think this this cloud is just swamp gas? Uh, you've heard about that before. I'm going to shoot. Swamp it. gas is a myth, so you don't even think this gas is real. I should just run in then and. Uh, Save my chickens. <laughs> sure. Inhale, inhale all the gas to save my birds. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna f- shoot at the farthest one to the right. Okay. Thirteen. Yes, that will hit. And I do twelve damage. All right. So same thing. You shoot it and. <laughs> this one flies straight up in the air and then right back down and just <laughs> onto a rock. And more of that green cloud is now coming from the right and moving towards the left, towards Chickums. Um, free action. Okay. Right? Because I, I only did an attack. Yeah. Well, it depends on what you're trying to do. You get a uh, move. Yeah. I want to move <clears throat> out of cover to the left. Okay. And start making a racket. Okay. Try to get them uh, helium dogs, Healy dogs away from my burbs. Sure. Yeah, you, you can move and make noise. I rage. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to move uh, my full movement away from the group. Okay. And I'm going to... I think I've done enough. I can't do anything else. No. I'm just going to drop my gun, but it's fine. Oh, because it can sees... I, am I allowed to drop my gun? Yeah, that's I mean, free. If you want to drop that's it, you can. I'm, I'm going to free action drop my gun by uh, old Nedsky. Okay. Ooh. Sure, you do. Uh, then it will be... Bessie. 
All right. This is perfect. I have a bunch of darts. I'm going to pop these suckers. <laughs> okay. I'll throw a dart. Can you see anything? No. Okay. Disadvantage. I, bonus action. Light a torch. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I know if it's a bonus action. It might take you some time. It is. Is it? Okay. And the rules. All right. Yeah. Bonus action. You light well, a torch. Yeah. If, if there's railroads and stuff, maybe it's like a road flare style torch. <laughs> Yeah, just strike it on the ground on a rock. Like <laughs> it's, it's a, a big, big match. Big match. <laughs> I don't think they had um, phosphorus torch. flares back in the you know. Uh, well, this is this is railroad. fantasy. Shows yeah. how much you right. know. Somebody yeah. in chat Google torch. that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> when did road flares become invented? <laughs> yeah, when were road flares? Seventeen ninety four. Lighting a torch is a bonus action. Okay, you light a torch then. I throw a dart. Okay. Ah, twenty two. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Hell yeah, it is. Five. All right, so you hit uh, one of the the coyotes, the the last of the four trails that isn't covered in the, the gas, anyways. It, it looks like it hits him. Doesn't look like they're dead, but you. It seems like it hits them in the front shoulder, and that gas is just seeping out, and they just make a. <gasps> No oh ice. no, they've raged! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, what call. was that sound? It sounded like somebody scooting a chair in a diner floor. So there, there is smoke. <laughs> it's these, just not as much as if you like full on pop them. So these flyotes are weird as fuck, man. Flyotes is such a good name. So yeah. <laughs> so then it'll be so you nobody can High see any water, more coyotes. of the flyotes or coyotes because of all the gas Darkness. and whatnot. No. Darkness, sure. Well, also that. When he puts his Batman mask on, though, has he got night vision? No. Okay. Not yet. Uh, hepta <laughs> or a heck, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna run forward and strike that one that Bessie just hit. All right. So you run into the gas. Yeah. Okay. You do. It's a robot. Yeah. I think more force might be. Mm-hmm. That's All a right. 23? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll hit. To hit? Hell Smack yeah. Smack its bottom. It's just four damage, though. That's, That's nine. That's more than enough. So what's your weapon? This is an iron strike, so... Oh, you just punch it? <laughs> just punch it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pow! Yes. Right so, you, so you punch directly down into the head of this creature, and the force of it rips its head off and just causes it to... <laughs> And the body shoots backwards, and now that entire area is covered in gas. Um, so, so all that gas cloud is just keeps moving closer and closer towards chickums. Um, chickums. And uh, are you doing anything else, heck? Or are you just? I guess that's everything, right? You just moved and punched. Okay. Yeah. So then it would be Ned. Man, I noticed how you didn't ask me that. Yeah. Ned's gonna pick up the rifle with the with the night sight. It doesn't have a night sight. He can just see in the dark. Oh. I got low light vision. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Um, and I guess I'll try to open up the cage for chickens. Oh, now that you don't have night vision, I don't know if you should do that, bud, because I'm after you. Well, can I see? I can't see any more of the coyotes. No, you can't see any but of the coyotes. But he can use his perception to maybe echolocate them, because he's hearing he's them all. He's a bat. He's literally Batman. Um, Batman can't hear okay, better. Okay, yeah, but if, if I'm in the dark, well, hear me out, voice and head. If okay. I'm in the dark... And mm -hmm. there's all boogums all running around me. I will be able to hear what direction they are. Roll perception check. I would, and I'm still hidden. Yeah, for sure. E perception uh, thir <clears throat> thirteen. You have a general idea what direction they are in, which is also kind of where a couple of my teammates are. Yes. <laughs> Can I? But who's? But does he know? Is holding a torch, right? Yeah, Bessemer is holding a torch I, and right there's, next to you, right? Does that? Can I see maybe any part of the tree or the, the torch? Yeah, you can. You can see the outline of the tree. It All gives right. thirty outline feet of, of light. Cage. Yeah, you can see. Oh, it gives thirty no, feet. No, you can't yeah. see the tree. Cause yeah, it's, yeah, it's 50, fifty feet. feet Shit, but I can't see any. I'll uh, say you can coyotes. see a very rough outline of the tree. There's you don't just, see any coyotes. There's two below the tree. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stealth. And stay hidden for a movement. Okay. Um, towards Bessemer's light, but stay outside of it. The, uh, the 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 torch provides bright light for twenty feet, 
and dim light for another 20. So 40 all day. So, yeah, you get a very basic outline of the tree, but nothing. Okay, well, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna try to stay <clears throat> hidden in stealth towards the edge of the light. Okay. Um, maybe 10 more, four feet more forward, so that when the light does hit the tree, I'll be within 50 feet. Sure. And uh, then hold action with a shot. Okay. Uh, then it'll be the critter's turn. So they are... Okay. Boys and hit, you said there are two left? Hmm? There were ten, we killed there four. There were ten, you killed four. Ah, all right, I don't know math. Mm-hmm. So let's see, one, two, three, three. Yeah, so the three that are on Willie's side are going to attack Willie. That's not great. So they move over towards Willie. Uh, and they they look like when they when they sort of like run like bears over towards you they sort of leap up and then it seems like they fart a little bit which gives the momentum as they shoot forward <laughs> through like the squeaks. air <laughs> and they they fly right at you Willie. Uh, quick question. Yes. As, as a held action, do I get to do like an interrupt or do I just do it at the end of the round? What do you? I mean, what's your held action? Is this to shoot the gun? Yeah, you can. I'm going to try to shoot one of them that's charging sure. uh, my friend. All right. Uh, I will attack. It's a D12, my bad. You're right. I gave you a long gun. You're right. Uh, with a 10, 13 damage. Okay. So as uh, the three are flying through the air, just about to hit Willie, you shoot one of them, causing it to explode. The gas cloud erupts all, all over, over that Willie. area, which Aww. is also around Willie now. Um, Hold your breath, bud. But that one will not now hit Willie. Uh, Willie, what is your AC? Uh, well, it's 15. So one will miss. Um, what I do remind you is I, I have raged. Yeah. So bludgeting, piercing, and slashing damages is... Resistant. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I'm not gassing though. Yeah, gas is not for that yet. Free action to hold my breath. <laughs> but also, I'm resistant to gas because I am a miner. Sure. Uh, so one will hit you. Uh, so have to. Okay. Does so it bite? Uh, it definitely feels like it bites. Uh, as it, it hits Willie in the chest, and as it, like, bounces into him, you just feel like a set of teeth sink into your chest. Do I believe that it's still on my chest, or that it just nipped me? And, it and just nips off? and bounces away. Okay. So it looks like that's, like, their way of attack. They jump in, bounce off, to try and make life a little harder for whatever it is they're telling. Like, disorient a bit. I yes, guess. sir. Without pro provoking AOS. Yes. All right. All right. Bouncy boys. So uh, those two attack you. The other two are going to attack, or the other three are going to attack Heck. Uh-oh. Uh, all three of those are probably going to hit Heck. Uh-oh. Oh, good. The smallest is a 16. Yeah. And I rolled an at 20 as well before. Uh -oh. oh, jeez. No. <laughs> Anybody know how to repair? I fixed a couple of mine carts in my day. Now, is Heck in the light radius of Besame? Yes. But also surrounded by gas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Heck, you can't see very well in the gas, and all of a sudden you just see three round shapes come out of nowhere and just start pummeling you in the face repeatedly, and your, your servos get a little wacky, and you fall backwards with a loud thud as you uh, go offline. <laughs> I'm vengeance. Heck. So yeah. Oh heck. <laughs> oh heck. So now it is back around to Chickums. Willie. Chickens is in a cage. <laughs> and the gas just keeps moving towards Chickens. I know, but I can't do nothing about that right now because I'm surrounded. Sure. I'm gonna take a swing at one of them with my war pick. Okay. You're two rounded. It doesn't matter. I rolled an 18 on the die. Yeah, it's going to hit. So it's going to do four damage. All righty. Uh, it does not kill, but it does pop up uh, slightly, causing more gas to erupt in your immediate area. I'm going to somersault backwards to the edge of AOE so, so I don't take one, but I'm not standing in the gas. I know. Okay. So, yeah, so you hit one, you back out, so you're just on the edge of the gas, so you can <gasps> take a breath. Um, you do, it does feel a little burny on the skin. So it doesn't feel very nice to be anywhere near that. So, 
doesn't seem to cause any... If it burns the skin, it must do worse to the inside. Yeah, it doesn't seem to, like, cause any damage to the skin, just irritation. It's... But lungs. But lungs, it might do a little bit more than that. You're not sure. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to free action, take a deep breath, and hold it. Okay. You also notice that falling out of the gas cloud is heck. Falling backwards and just sparking. I've used all my actions. I'm just saying that's what you notice. Mm -hmm. Uh, So then it... we level one. Sure. So then it'll be back around to Bessie. You have also noticed that heck has fallen backwards and is sparking. All right. Uh, I can... Can I make it to them? Yeah. You can run over to them. Yeah. I go to heck and I place my uddies in their mouth. (laughs) Okay. My healing uddies. And I, I, I squirt. Okay. A squirt. <laughs> I do a squirt. I squirt on my... Okay. Oh, heck! How much healing does your, your healing uddies give? I thought we went with uh, 1d6. Yeah. Six so is you what I remember. One is more than zero. Sure. So you are you are at one HP. Heck. Na, 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 na. Uh, you you feel a uh, um you, your servos were back up. Hey, voice and head. Yes. Could he possibly have taken a medicine check of a D twenty to see if he critted or not? But maybe he wants to. He would have still put him. Maybe at he one. wants to kill one of those things still. But if it, it would be double healing then if he no. he uh, okay. <gasps> but that's a is that a bonus action or an action? Uh, your healing milk is a bonus action. Okay. Especially since you just squirted a little bit in there. You just... Half squirt. Yeah. Now it's time to take care of these fuckers. Heroes on the half squirt. (laughs) You can hear them bouncing around there in the smoke there, Bessame. I'm going to gore one of them. Okay. You charge and gore? Yeah. Okay. On gorge. (laughs) In gorge. 16. Oh, yeah. It's going to hit. Seven damage. Uh, so yeah, so you run through and you gore one of these coyotes, and you notice that it doesn't fly off; it's stuck on your horns Face as the full gas. as the gas oh, just it's on me. It's just everywhere, all around you. Just ah. it's in your Is mouth. It getting in my mouth. Oh, it's in your mouth. It's What's gonna, it taste oh. like? It's gonna spoil your milk. It tastes like onions Bull. and ketchup. I all spit right. that old bleh, onions and bleh, ketchup. Bleh, bleh. So yeah, so you've done that. So that, that there was another one dead. Uh, then it will be dead. Yeah. N- oh no 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 no. no. Be, um, heck is up. Heck. Heck's up. Yeah. yeah. Can I see any of them? Uh yes. I Eldritch Blast. Okay. Get it. That's a nineteen. Oh yeah, it's gonna hit. Heck, heck yeah. <laughs> Does the one that's on uh, Besame's horn count as being grappled since it's stuck it's there? Dead. Oh, I th- okay. I missed that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yes, it grappled. Yeah, it's grappled. To death. To death. <laughs> Seven damage. So, you uh, you sort of pop up. Like, you don't stand all the way up. You just lean forward, and you pull out your Eldritch gun, and you fire into the gas. And as the, the, the oh, energy no. crackles up the gun oh, yeah. and releases, shoots out, and actually causes a hole to form in the gas, as you can see the energy going through. Awesome. And it literally just burns a hole right through one of these coyotes. And the gas doesn't even leave the <gasps> coyote. It just Fire. literally gets eaten up by the Eldritch Blast no. as it shoots out the other side of it. Does his flame ignite any of that gas that's around there? No. Okay. Does not seem to be flammable. Okay. Good. It's not really a flame, though. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, no, no. Bessie, Bessie May's got a torch. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't seem to be flammable. Okay. If anything, it it almost has, like, a choking effect on the flame. Like, your your flame, like, dims a bit, but God not too, it. too much. Is my flame aroused slightly? Uh, Sure. It's aroused ever so slightly. It flickers aggressively. Yeah. Only towards you. Sensually. Mm-hmm. Sensually. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it will so be... hot. Ned. Bessie Domo, you've awakened me too soon. That's a, that's a Warcraft joke. Is there another coyote near my two friends who are lit, or...? Um, so it looks like the only coyotes are the ones over by Willie. There's two left... Mm-hmm. They're both by Willie. One is injured, and mm-hmm. one is not at all. Willie injured. Willie's also Willie injured. Willie injured real bit. good. Um, he doesn't look that bad. And I can kind of see. Yeah. Because they're at the edge of the torchlight. 
Yeah, I mean, they're in the gas. I, you know, I'm going to give you disadvantage because they're in the gas. So. But is it dim light? But it's gas. Yeah. Okay. Gas light. Yeah. <laughs> what Dennis does best to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not gaslighting you. You're just wrong. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> maybe you should learn how to play better. Be they, more imaginative. Are they within five feet of Willie? Uh, yes. Then I do get a sneak attack damage should I hit one. Sure. Uh, that's a nat 20. So I will keep the 15 instead. That'll hit. All right. Uh, for you going for the injured one or the healthy one? The healthy one. Okay. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 damage. Uh, yeah, it explodes, causing more of that smoke to, to come out, and it's now around Willie as well. Uh, and it's, it's also around the base of the tree as it moves uh, around a bit. So. And then and then I'm going to try to get away from the gas. Okay. Sure. You just, and hide. You just move out of the gas. Yeah. yeah. And hide behind a rock. There's plenty of rocks. I'm just going to hide into the obscurement. I hide with it. 19. Yeah, you do. You're so, you're so sneaky. Uh, then that one last coyote is going to attack Willie. Uh, that will miss. So it just bounces past Willie. Is it and is now the tree? out of the gas. Uh, no. Okay. I didn't think you were over by the tree. I thought you were no, going it, away. Yeah, yeah likewise. Yeah. So it, it, uh, it flew past you. So it's out of the gas, easily seen by anybody. Um, so it bounces off a rock and it's just floating in the air. Heck yeah. So yeah, so then I'll be back around to Bessie. No, or no, sorry, me. Willie. Uh, I'm gonna somersault out of the gas. Okay. And as I come out, I'm gonna take aim with my pistol uh -huh. and shoot the cage that Chickums is in. Okay. Hopefully cracking it so Chickums can fly away. So you just do like Hashtag a standard free Chickums. So you just want to do like a standard ass somersault backwards, right? Out just out. Well, probably closer to the tree out of the gas. Sure. But nothing fancy, just a regular old yeah, now, now with an acrobatics check? Yeah. <laughs> just a jump and roll? Yeah, just a jump and I roll. I mean, yeah. I mean, I could, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to take an acrobatics no, check. No, I don't. I am more than welcome to give you the opportunity no, to fuck it up. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to. And shoot your bird to death. <laughs> roll away. Roll away, May. Okay. It's a 19, so that sure. would be a 23. Yeah. And I'd do four damage to the. To the wood cage. Oh, yeah, the, the cage shatters, uh, and and your bird. Free action, fly away, chickens. It, it does. It just flies away. I tell you, don't uh, want no gas around my bird. Doesn't look like it. It flies away too too far. Like basically, no, it's a chicken. No, no. Yeah, it's it's a, just yeah. It's not a chicken. It's not a it's chicken. A cave canary. <laughs> it's a canary. I'm confused. <laughs> he just calls him chicken. Chicken. Yeah. yeah. But it flies away. Have you eaten a canary? Well, but doesn't look like it goes too far. Uh, no taste, comment. They sure. taste good. It tastes like like mealy chicken. You wouldn't dare crunchy. Bessie, you are in the cloud. Stink cloud. Uh, so you're going to take a little bit of damage. Nostril damage. Okay. Uh, you feel a burning sensation in your lungs, and it tastes uh, a little bit like blood as you cough. <coughs> You don't feel great, but you're not dead, so that's something. All right, there's one flyote left. It's yeah, it's floating up in the air. You all have right. to, you're gonna have to move out of the gas to see it, since you're in the middle of all this gas. But shit. But all you, right, but you I move, move out of the out gas. Out. Yeah, you do. Can I see it with? Can I see it? Yeah, you can see it. I dart it. Okay. Ah, I throw a dart. Sure. Seventeen. It's gonna hit. It's gonna explode with piss. Shit, I roll. Ah, can I roll anything other than one on this D4? Five. Uh, that's just enough. So you hit it, it pops and dissipates. And there's just a little cloud of gas floating up high above, but it doesn't seem to be falling very well. As it's you know falling, it dissipates. There's too much air and all that jazz. So all the coyotes seem to be dead. Uh, <sighs> guys. I, I think we got to do a better job at eliminating... And within like Our a minute, end. the rest of the gas dissipates as well. So oh, I have coyote weird. piss in my mouth. <laughs> that does not dissipate. You said you wanted to get some piss. You got some piss. I didn't want it in my mouth. You didn't specify to the gods above of Lord Short King on where that piss should go. That's yeah, true. I thought juice does go in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're right. I wanted to say. Speaking of. Later. 
Thank you, and also rude. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'll just let you. No, shut no, down I said thank time. you first. Okay. Can I do like a um, well? So can as, I have prior consent now? As you guys yes. have murdered okay. the coyotes, that is what we're going to call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger Big Jim, the oh, Nuck, boom. Lord Chronic, Skinner, B-Mail, God King Shanda Panda. Praise her. Praise her. Praise her. Lost Limey, dis- Gruntled furniture, quiz, 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 wisdom, quiz, wisdom, quiz, wisdom. Inbred two two eight seven. Did you say inbred two two eight seven? <laughs> you want to support the show? You can do so in many ways. You can Patreon. head on over to freedomvalleyhorsepace.com, dickblood.me, dickblood.com, cornhub.icu, sexwithwookies.com, pigrickets.com, <laughs> or simply patreon.com slash botchpodcast and support where you can. Like our newest patron, Herb C. Can't support us financially, but still want to help the show out a lot. You can head on over to iTunes and leave us a five star review. Like our newest five star. Five stars. Delupe 1-0904-2022. A most glorious foster cluck. Botched is, comma. Bar none, the most fun I've ever had with Dungeons and Dragons. Be prepared, you will laugh, you will cry with laughter, and you will definitely, in all caps, be surprised. Repeatedly. Parenthetical. Seriously, some of their plans are absolutely off the wall insane, but I wouldn't want it any other way. Period. And parenthetical. We salute you, the King Ting. You are this episode's... Most, Most wanted. wanted. Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them all over the internet at Gozer underscore music, or you can find them on Spotify under Gozer. Thank you to Emily Swan for our album art. All of her shit is all over the internet at a swan named Emily. And as always, I thought we'd go with Bit Bandit. <laughs> See you next week, nerds. <laughs> <laughs>
But so like <laughs> I ran after him and threw his guitar back at him and took mine and then waited to the next bus pickup line and got back on. It was pretty dope. But then everyone's like, where's <laughs> where's your girlfriend? I was like, huh? What? Because apparently Morgan ran off the bus too to help, the not realizing direction. that run like run is a strong word. She more like slowly walked off the bus after you. I had no idea because oh, no. I was hyper focused. You're like, got everything I need. Bye. Left all their stuff in the back seat. Too. She just walked right by her, pushed her out of the way, and said, "I gotta get on the bus." Look, bitch, I gotta ride this bus. 